there are different Crimson Coral comps as well that is able to go and, you know, counter other Crimson Coral comps. Alright, but this one strictly is going to be revolving around not using Crimson Coral to counter Crimson Coral. Alright guys, so yesterday I shared this comp with you guys where the Crimson Coral triple DPS is quote unquote the almost best comp that we have gotten inside of the arena right now. And a lot of viewers have been using it and they have been climbing successfully and some have even reached Grandmaster 3 within their own servers. So this comp is actually a really really good comp right now. However, you guys know that if there is a comp that is really, really good, then there is bound to be a counter to it. And I wanted to share that counter to you guys today in this video. All right. So if you guys have watched my live streams, I've actually shared this comp already with you guys. And you guys have seen me try to find a counter to this comp for about three plus hours inside of my live stream. But here we go, guys. It is actually going to be a comp that has been shared already within the game even before uh, the release of Crimson Coral, and that is going to be no other than the t Knight Shining Glitter, Black Lemonade, Black Pearl, and Moonlight comp right over here. So we have actually seen this inside of the arena a couple of times, and the specific topping settings were shared by ND Runner. So I went and watched his video to see exactly what the topping settings were, and to see how he properly set it up, because it was created by one of the Korean top rankers, and, uh, you know, the video you guys can find linked down in the description. But here we go, guys. Let's get into the team build and exactly how this team is able to go and beat a absolutely insane triple DPS Crimson Coral comp that we have gotten so far. So let's quickly go over the toppings first and then let me show you guys exactly how it works and why it's so good. So T Knight, of course, is going to be using five of the solid almond. We have the damage resist as the main focus and then the next one is going to be the attack speed however one thing that you guys have to realize is that t Knight's attack speed has to be the third one right third highest inside of the team and i'm going to show you guys exactly why next one is going to be black lemonade black lemonade is going to be using five of the swift chocolate all right and we are focusing on the attack speed and for her subset we are strictly focusing on attack speed all right and the reason why we are using five of the swift chocolate is because of the fact that you want to have a two second start for black lemonade and by just having a full on swift chocolate setting without even cooldown substat you will automatically be able to reach that two seconds you don't really need damage resist because black lemonade is going to just use her skill and just get blown up anyways you guys can go and put in some uh you know searing raspberry here as well i know chero did share it like that as well in his live stream but honestly from my testing uh this is honestly better just need to focus on the attack speed so that she is going to be starting off with the enchanted robe. All right, and next one is going to be our shining glitter. Shining glitter is using three of the seeing raspberry, two of the juicy apple jelly. We are focusing on the cooldown 2.8% in order to have a three second start in order to use a skill right after black lemonade. And then we also do have that attack speed second highest in the team in order to start out with the enchanted robe buff. And then next, you do need to have some damage resist so that shining glitter does, uh, you know, stay alive. And then, of course, if you guys can uh, put more attack and crit on your cookie, then it definitely helps out. Next one is going to be our Moonlight 3 Saving Raspberry and 2 Juicy Apple Jelly as well. And uh, the reason why we are going with the Juicy Apple Jelly mixed is because we want to utilize Black Lemonade's skill as well. And uh, we do focus on the attack as well as the crit and damage resist. No attack speed, no cooldown is required. Just focus on these three substats. And damage resist, very important so that she does stay alive. Next one is going to be our Black Pearl 2. Just like Shining Glitter and Moonlight, we are using three Saiyan Raspberry 2 of the Juicy Apple Jelly. We are focusing on the attack, crit, and damage resist. No attack speed, no cooldown required. Alright, so the reason why Black Lemonade is so good and the reason why all three of our cookies, the main damage dealers, are using a mix of searing raspberry and juicy apple jelly to increase the crit is because black lemonade skill is going to revolve around crit all right so if you guys look at right over here she is going to be applying right over here this uh you know specific debuff onto the enemy which is going to increase the overall crit damage the enemy receives and decrease their defense as well yes crimson coral has a uh, you know crit damage reduction as well as a defense damage reduction buff onto herself However, uh, you know, with the amount of damage that we're able to deal with our cookies, the weakness diva from Moonlight, the, uh, you know, the damage that's coming out from Black uh, Pearl, and also because of the fact that, you know, Shining Glitter is getting rid of her shield with the zap, uh, this 
is going to absolutely just obliterate uh, Crimson Coral in most of the cases, all right? And because of the fact that Black Lemonade is going to be applying this electrifying rock spirit buff, this is also going to deal extra 61.9% of Black Lemonade Cookie's attack for each two critical hits or zap damage dealt by enemies under the electrifying uh, rock spirit buffs, all right? So that means that, uh, you know, from the Shining Glitter zap damage, from the Shining Glitter crit damage, from the Moonlight crit damage, from the Black Pro crit damage, with all of the you know crit toppings that we have also, that's gonna allow Black Lemonade's Electrifying Spirit buff to deal even more damage, getting rid of that Crimson Coral. All right, and then of course Tina is just there to finish the job with the Enchanted Robe and the Scroll to do more damage. All right, so that's a lot of talking. Um, I know Cheryl is going to be sharing another comp as well. I was in his live stream. I wanted to see exactly what he does. I tried out the, you know, comp that he did, but against my Crimson Coral with a lot of high labs and stuff like that, it kind of doesn't work out too well, and this is definitely a lot better. Yes, there are times when Moonlight and Black Pro will stay aligned, but because they do have the Insignia, uh, you know, they are able to use their skills and kind of finish it off it as well. But let's get into the uh, defense here and then let's do a practice run on my team right over here. Let's get into it and see how it works. All right, guys, so I'm going to put it at one time speed. So you're going to be able to see right there that, uh, you know, Black Lemonade is going to use the skill. You see right here, increased, uh, receive increased crit damage, attack down and defense down as well. All right. And then we're going to use Shining Glitter, which is going to get rid of all of the shield that Crimson Coral just put on herself as well as the other cookies. And then it's going to be followed up right after by Moonlight's Weakness debuff. Black Pro is also able to dodge. All right. And because Shining Glitter and Black Lemonade do go and, uh, you know, die, the Insignia uh, buff also pops. And then Tina is just go, uh, you know, just able to go and just hack away at the enemies. All right. And uh, usually, you know, if T Knight does die, uh, you know, that also puts the healing onto these two cookies and allows them to survive as well and allow them to use their skill one more time, all right? So you guys were able to see just absolutely just obliterated uh, the triple DPS here, uh, especially because, you know, they don't have the ability to keep up their shield. They don't have the ability to, uh, you know, protect themselves, especially after Crimson Coral gets obliterated by these four and then T Knight with the hammer down. So you guys might be wondering how it will work against a Rockstar as well. So I'm gonna use it. So I would say that it is definitely going to be riskier going up against a Rockstar one because Rockstar does have that encore in order to keep the cookies alive. All right, just like that. So if Rockstar is the one to die off afterwards, then it does definitely get harder to uh, kill. All right, so here we go. This is gonna be, uh, you know, uh, T Knight and Crimson Coral, and the Insignia did pop already uh, before the one minute mark, which usually uh, will mean that you're gonna lose, all right? So there are times when you win, but it is definitely harder to beat the Rockstar one, and definitely recommend you guys to go with the triple DPS one, because the triple DPS is going to be uh, very much less sustainable than Rockstar, especially because there's no Rockstar Encore, all right? so. There are times when you do get to kill Crimson Coral before you kill off the Rockstar, which allows your cookies to, you know, pretty much uh, just win uh, because T Knight is the one to go and hack away at the enemies. But if something like this happens where Rockstar does die before Crimson Coral, then, you know, you're pretty much going to lose. All right, guys. So from what I've tested out, I've seen that the Hollowberry Pattaya, Rockstar, and the Stardust comp with the rare score actually does work pretty well against this particular comp here. So I'm gonna show you guys this team in action. All right, here we go, guys. So you're gonna be able to see, we're gonna have that three second start on our Stardust. All right, and um, Kataya is still able to use the skill right there. And uh, you're just gonna, you know, it's gonna pretty much be the same uh, throughout the entire battle again. Uh, trying to wait until that one minute mark for our Pattaya to use skill and such. All right, so here comes the, uh, one minute mark right there perfect for us just dealing the extra damage right there absolutely obliterating the enemies uh with the uh you know the rockstar and stardust gone now it should be really really easy for us to uh win this one all right because stardust is going to focus on either crimson coral or our the, the black pro and they're gonna die right and here we go 30 second mark now and we should be able to see that's going to do a lot of damage on our cookies, but, you know, Stardust able to dodge right after Encore happens, and there you guys go. 
So the rare scroll does help out in keeping the cookies alive and then Pattaya, especially if it falls asleep, all right, from the Stardust on the enemy team, then it allows uh, Pattaya to go and use a skill around that one minute mark, absolutely just obliterating the enemy with the fire breath. So Pattaya and Hollowberry, they're not gone uh, completely. They still are going to be used, but Crimson Coral definitely is going to be more of a standard because it allows you to use a lot more cookies. Uh, except it does restrict you from using a lot of the frontliner cookies. All right, guys, so before we end the video, I want to show you guys this team in actual arena now against different players. So here we go. And of course, just keep in mind that this is going to be a comp to use if you don't have any Crimson Coral inside of your arsenal, all right? So if you do have Crimson Coral, actually, there are different Crimson Coral comps as well that is able to go and, you know, counter other Crimson Coral comps. All right, but this one strictly is going to be revolving around not using Crimson Coral to counter Crimson Coral. And I have to say, this is probably the best one that we have seen so far and the one that had the best result. All right, so there you guys go. You guys saw that <laughs> the enemies just absolutely get obliterated. Five Star Ascension, Black Pearl, as well as Five Star Ascension, uh, you know, Moonlight right there. Uh, still, they couldn't stand a chance against the absolute craziness of this team getting rid of the shields and applying that electrifying uh you know rock spirit buff on our cookies so as you guys can see on the defense log they all of them are pretty green right over here uh except when you guys go down here later on you're going to be seeing this one right over here and this is where i found the idea hey let's try this team out who had this uh because i know they were shared before and you know andy renner did share a specific topping as well so i wanted to share that comp with you guys and when I tested it out myself, it worked out really, really well. Of course, there are times when RNG happens and the crit from enemy starters and things like that just gets rid of your cookies before they're able to do anything. But, you know, most of the time, it's a pretty good success rate here. Uh, and if you guys have the ability to uh, then try to build this team. And as you guys can see, this uh, team right over here from the enemy team, they had two star black lemonade, two star shining glitter, three star moonlight, as well as five star uh you know black pearl so it's not super ascendant or anything like that and they still beat my team right over here so it is possible guys so hopefully you guys found the video helpful try it out if you guys have the ability to do so i would be trying to find out more cons but in the end it's most likely going to revolve around uh actually using crimson coral now and also try out Cheryl's team didn't work out for me too well on my account but maybe for you guys especially in the holiday and dark account server where uh, the stats are a little bit lower than what you guys will generally see inside a pure vanilla server might be able to utilize it Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys all on the next one